Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Um, people have been requesting me to make a video for my mod maker, so this is said video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be explaining how to set up MCP with the mod maker, first of all. And then, I'm guessing that's going to take a while, so I'm going to have to do another video where I explain how to make a tool. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, you're going to need to download the tool. This is my forum post, and if you scroll down to the downloads you'll find the latest version. Currently it's 0 0.2.1, so click the add file link and it'll open add file. Uh, just wait for the timer to go down to zero. Then you press skip add um, and the download will show up. So I'm going to save this to my desktop just for example purposes. The next thing you're going to want to download is the Minecraft Coder Pack, so if you go ahead and search that in Google uh, it should come up and if you click on the wiki that's probably the best one to choose uh, the Ocean Labs website appears to be not working properly at the moment so if you download the latest version of that as well which is 4.3 for 1.73 uh, I'll take you to Mediafire and then you click start download I'm also going to save that to the desktop Okay, so I have a very slow download speed, so I'm just going to skip through this. Okay, so that's the download finished. Um, the files are here. First of all, you're going to extract the Minecraft Coder Pack to whatever location. Um, you can extract it as MCP43, or whatever version yours is, and then you're done with that. And then open up the Mod Maker and extract the .exe file to your desktop, don't open it up just yet. Uh, you could, I would recommend reading the readme, but obviously I wrote the readme so I don't need to read it. Uh, then we're going to open up the MCP and drag our .exe file into MCP. Now we're going to set up the Minecraft Coder Pack. So run the .exe file and go straight to MCP setup. First of all we're going to click get clean bin. Now follow the instructions on screen, it's very simple, uh, just click run Minecraft when it asks you to, and log in, um, and I'll be back when this download's finished. Okay, so the download's finished, uh, you don't need Minecraft anymore, you can close Minecraft, so press continue. Uh, we do want to install Mod Loader. So click yes. Uh, we don't have mod loader yet, so we need to download it. So click the link, and this will open up uh, Risugami's page, where you can find mod loader. Uh, yeah. So just scroll down the page. Mod loader is the first one, and we're going to download the AdFly one because we appreciate Risugami's work. <laughs> Wait for the download to hit zero, then skip add, and the download should appear. Then we click save, save as, save it to our desired location. Downloads finished. Uh, we can close that window. So we're going to open up Mod Loader, and we're also going to open up the Minecraft jar. We're going to open that with WinRAR. So we have our two folders, and then we're going to drag all the contents of Mod Loader into our Minecraft.jar folder, and then we're going to delete this folder called the MetaInf folder. So delete that, and you can X out of both of these. Uh, we don't need this anymore, and click OK, and that's it done. That is your uh, clean bin folder relocated. So now you want to just click Auto Setup NCP and wait for the batch file to load. This should take about 10 seconds depending on how fast your computer is. Okay, so that's the batch file come up and this is just going to decompile the folder that we've just loaded, the fresh folder. Um, the one And the one we installed mod loader to. Uh, it says that a modified jar has been detected and there may be unpredictable results. This is because we've installed Mod Loader. Uh, and it's also going to give us an error in 
a second or two. But that's okay, we we don't mind the error. That's just something to do with mod loader. So just wait, I suppose. Um in fact I'll fast forward this to the end and I'll be back in a in a minute. Okay, it's finished, so press any key to continue. And then that's it done. We can now make our mod. Uh so I will see you in the next video for how to make a mod. Thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, etc. And yeah, bye.